Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Rajkumar's learning app. In this session, we shall have a discuss on one of the most important topic in reasoning language that is ranking and sequence. This is one of the most important topic which is dealt in each and every competitive exams for two marks. Let us study how to crack these sort of problems in detail now. Pawan ranks 12th in a class of 46. What will be his rank from the last? Options are 33, 35, 37, 39 and the none. Let us crack this problem. There is a class of 46 students. In those 46 students, Pawan is ranking 12th from the top order, right? We are supposed to find the order of uh, Pawan from the bottom or from the last. It means behind Pawan, there is 11 person who has scored more than Pawan. We need to find out Pawan's rank from the bottom now. Finding the Pawan rank from the bottom, we have total, we have 46 students. We need to minus those 11 students behind Pawan to have the Pawan ranking from the bottom. So that when counted from the bottom, the last person who we meet is again Pawan itself. Okay. So the right answer for this problem is 46 students minus 11 students is equal to 35. So 35 is the Pawan's rank from the bottom order. Okay. So the right option is answer B. Moving on to our next problem. Divya is 10th rank either ends of the row. How many students are there in the row? Option A 21, 20, 19, 18 and none of these. They are telling there is a row where Divya is standing 10th position when counted from both the sides. When counted from the left, she is in the 10th position and even when uh, counted from the right also, she is in the 10th position itself. When counted from the left direction, behind Divya, there are still 9 more members and when counted from the right position after Divya, still there are 9 persons, right? These sort of problems can be done in two ways. Let's study in detail now. Type 1 means 9 plus 9 excluding Divya we have 9 students behind and after Divya. So we need to add 9 plus 9 18 and we have to include Divya only once right. Divya's count is twice in the problem. We should consider only Divya once in a problem. So 9 plus 9 18, 18 plus 1 is equal to 19. So the total number of students in a row is 19 members. We can solve this problem in another method also. The another method is when you count Divya from the left, she is in 10th position. After 10th position, we have 9 more students who is standing after Divya, right? Excluding Divya, right? Divya, we have taken already the 10th count. After Divya, there are still more 9 students. So, the remaining 9 students should be added to Divya's position, right? On adding 9 remaining 9 to the Divya's position, we have again 19 as the answer. So, the right answer for this problem is option C. 19. Moving on to our next problem. Kirti is 22nd in a class of 38. What is the rank from the bottom, right? Here there are 38 students in a classroom. In those 38 students, Kirti is ranking 22nd rank from the top. They are asking what is the rank from his bottom. If the Kirti's rank is 22nd from the top, behind Kirti there will be 21 members, right, who have scored more than Kirti. We need to minus the total students, students behind the Kirti. On solving, we have 38 students minus 21 students will be equal to 17 students. So when counted from bottom, Kirti's position is a 17th rank from the bottom. So the right option for this problem is option C, 17. Let's move on to our next problem. Surya and Chandra are ranked 15th and 16th positions respectively from top in a class of 51 students. What will be their respective ranks from the lower end, right? There are two students by name Surya and Chandra and they are ranking 15th position and 16th position total of 51 students. They are asking what will be their respective ranks from lower end. Let's study how to deal these kind of problems now. From the top as well as from the bottom, on a total count we have 51 members or 51 students from the top position. 15th rank is Surya and 16th rank is Chandra. Behind Surya there will be 14 members and behind Chandra there will be 15 members, right? Behind Surya we have 14 members and behind Chandra we have still 15 members who have scored more than these two people, right? Here we are supposed to find 
these both ranks from the bottom order 51 minus 14 is equal to 37 37th rank of surya from the bottom and 51 minus 15 is equal to 36 that so their both the ranks is 37 and 36th rank from the bottom so the right option for this problem is option c let me move on to our next problem in a row of boys madhu who is 10th from the left and Sunil who is 7th from the right on interchanging their seats. Madhu becomes 15th from the left. How many boys are there in a row? Right? They are telling there is a row. In that row, Madhu is at a 10th position from the left end and Sunil is at a 7th position from the right end. Right? Behind Madhu, there will be 9 more persons and after Sunil, there will be 6 more persons who are standing in a row, same row. They are just interchanging their position. Interchanging means Madhu is sitting in the place of Sunil and Sunil is sitting in the place of Madhu. On interchanging, Madhu will become 15th position when counted from left end. Here, they both have just interchanged their position, but people behind them will be same itself. On interchanging, there will be no issue to any other persons in a row, right? Please remember, Madhu is in 15th place when counted from left after interchanging. After 15th place, still again we have 6 persons. So, total number of persons in a row will be 15 plus 6, 21 boys. So, the total number of students in a row will be 21. So, the right option for this problem is option B. Moving on to our next problem. Santosh is 15 ranks above Satish who is ranks 28th in a class of 50. Okay. What is the Santosh ranks from bottom? Let's discuss how to solve these kind of problems. There is a row of 50 students. Satish is ranking 28th rank and Santosh is ranking 15 ranks above. 15 ranks above means 28 minus 15. 28 minus 15 is equal to 13. So, Santosh is at 13th rank from the top. So, they are asking what is Santosh rank from the bottom. For finding the rank from the bottom, we need to minus those 12 students from the total order. From the total order, we have total 50 students. From those 50 students, we need to minus the one or who has scored previous to Santosh. 50 minus 12 is equal to 38. The rank of Santosh from the bottom is 38. Right option for this problem is option C. Moving on to our next question. If Manu ranks 8th from the left and Sagar ranks 36th from the left in a class of 60 students, what is Suresh rank if he stands exactly midway between Manu and Sagar? What they are telling is there is a row where Manu is standing 8th from the left end and Sagar who is standing 36th from the left end itself. Here both are counted from left end only. The total number of students in a class is 60. Between Manu and Sagar, there is another person by name Suresh. Suresh is telling, I am standing exactly between uh, these two people. Now, let us study how to crack this problem. For finding the Suresh position, we can have a average concept to find the position of Mr. Suresh here. On averaging 8 and 36, we have 22 as the answer. So, the position of Suresh is 22nd from left end. So, the right answer is option A, that is 22nd. Okay. Moving on to our next problem. In a line of forest officers seating, Ananda is 11th from the left end and Chandra is 9th from the right end. In between, 9 forest officials are sitting. So, they are asking what is the total number of forest authorities sitting in a row. Ananda is 11 L, right? Chandra is 9 R. So, in between 9 forest officials are sitting. So, 11 plus 9 plus 9. 11 is Nanda's position and in between 9 is forest officials and another 9 is Chandra's position. So, there are 29 persons in a row. So, the right option for this question is option B. Moving on to our next question. If you are in the 9th person from the one end in the queue and 11th person from other end of the queue, what is the number of person in a the same person when counted from left end, he is counting 9th and when counted from right end, he is counting 9th. When counted from left, still we have 8 persons behind 9th position and when counted from right, still we have 10 positions behind him. So, the right step to solve these kind of problems is 9 plus 10 is equal to 19. When counted from the left, you have 9th position and after 9, we have 
10 more persons. So, 19 and step 2 is and when you count from right and you have 11th person and after 11 you have still 8 persons. So, when counted from the right also you will be having 19 persons. So, the right option for this question is a option A, 19 persons. Moving on to our next question. Sumit is ranked 9th from the top and 38th from the bottom in a class. What is the number of students in a class? Similar to previous question, we have single person Sumit who when counted from the top, he is in a 9th position and when counted from the bottom, he is in a 38th position. As I discussed earlier, two times we can solve these sort of problems. When you counted from the left, we have still 8 persons behind Sumit and when counted from the right, we have 37 persons behind Sumit. So, we can solve these sort of problems in two types that is 9 plus 37 or 38 plus 8. In both the cases, the answer what we going to attain is 46. So, the right option for this question is option B, 46. Moving on to our next question. In a class of 41 students, Aditya's rank is 8th from the top. Mamata is 7 ranks below Aditya. It is Mamata's rank from bottom. Okay, the options are 26, 27, 25, can't be determined and uh, none of these. In a class, there is a for total strength of 41 students. In those 41 students, the student by name Aditya is ranking 8th from the top. 8th from the top means behind Aditya still there are 7 persons. And they are telling Mamata is 7 ranks below Aditya. 7 ranks below Aditya means 8 plus 7. That is Mamata is ranking 15th from the top end. When counted from the top, she is in 15th rank. They are asking what is Mamata's rank from the bottom. As discussed earlier, behind Mamata there are still 14 members and we need to differ those 14 members from the total strength. 41 minus 14 is equal to 27. So, the right option for this problem is option B. Moving on to our next question and the last question. In a line of 45 children, Saurabh is 25th from the beginning and Gaurav is 30th from the end. How many children are there between them? This is one of the most important question. Please make a note of it. In a class, there are 45 strength. Okay, in those 45 strength, Saurabh is a 25th position from the beginning. When counted from the left, Saurabh is in a 25th position. When counted from the right, Gaurav is in its 30th position. Please remember, when alternative sides coincide, the result always be can't be determined. Here, Gaurav's ranks from right and Saurabh's ranks from the left coinciding. In these cases, then always the option will be can't be determined. So, we can't solve these sort of problems by a normal procedure. So, the right option for this problem is option E, can't say. Moving on to our next question. In a class, Abhinav's rank is 79 from bottom. While there are 8 boys in a class, what is Abhinav's rank from the top? Let's study how to solve these kind of problem. Okay. There is a row of 80 students. In 80 students, when counted Abhinav, he is in a 79th position from the bottom. If he is in 79th position from the bottom, behind Abhinav, there will be still 78 students. We need to find Abhinav's rank in the top order. So, we need to minus those 78 students from the total strength. On uh, differing 80 in out of 78, we have 2 as the answer. So, when counted Abhinav from the top position, he is in a second rank. So, the right option for this question is option A. Moving on to our next question. A's position is 11th from the left and B's position is 10th from the right in a row. If so, if their positions are interchanged, A will be 18th position from the left and A and B except how many people are there in that line. Right? They are telling there is a row. In that row, A is counting from the left and he is in a 11th position and B even counted from the right, he is in a 10th position. Telling that they are interchanging their position. On interchanging their positions, behind A, there are still 10 members and behind B, there are still 9 members. On interchanging their positions, A will go to 18th position from the left. A is sitting in the place of B and when A sits in the place of B, when counted A from the left end, he is in a 18th position. They are asking, in exception case of A and B, how many persons are sitting in that row? Total 18 members. After 18 members, we have another 9 persons sitting. So, in that row, there are 27 persons are sitting in a row, but 27 is not the answer as they have clearly told there that we need to accept 
A and B. On deleting A and B, we have 27 minus 2, that is 25. In a row, uh, excepting A and B, we have 25 person sitting in that row. Here we are ending this concept. In the next class, we shall discuss some other important topics. Okay. Thank you.